stampers this is Nancy Novak from stampandshout.com and today I'm going to make a gift card holder and I'm going to make it out of a uh, Stampin' Up! crumb cake envelope here are a couple that I made already Merry Christmas Merry Christmas I like this one it's got some snowflakes on it and the way they work is open it up and you slide your gift card in. You could write something here and you can write a note here. Anyway, I thought they were pretty cute. So let's get to it. You take an envelope and you fold it in half and you flip the flap down and you cut right up the middle here. And I add the sticky only goes a little way, so I'm going to add a little bit of snail. And then we're going to close this. And here's where our gift card is going to go. So the accent pieces that I have are uh, green mat, mossy meadow. And that is cut to four and an eighth by five and an eighth. And I have two of those. Then I have some DSP two of those cut to three and seven eighths and two and three eighths and one little piece that is cut to one and a half by two and three quarters and all these measurements will be on my uh, blog stampandshout.com and to put it together you just have to snail this together like this For the inside, I'm going to I used um, the label punch and the scalloped punch. Inside, I'm going to put a blank one. This is really easy to line up with the scallop, and I'm going to put that on there, right in the center. And for the front. I have a greeting and I am going to pop that up on a dimensional and this one we're going to place a little bit towards the top because we're going to put a brad at the bottom. Oops, here's my little uh, measurement so I can find the center. Put that up near the top. Bring back in the envelope. Here's our little piece that we cut which is going to go right here. Just nail the back of that. These are so cute and very very easy to make. Then we're going to trim this top part off. And then we're going to trim the back and then angle this side right here. We're going to put this on, snail it down. And for the front, bring my little guide back in here. There's my little hole that I figured out where I want to punch my hole for my brad. Let's show my little measurements there. Punch the hole for the brad. I got these cute little jingle bell brads. I thought they were really cute. I'm going to add a little tiny piece of cardboard. It's a little bit thicker to make this little card a little bit thicker for the brad so it holds on a little bit better. There's not so much wiggle room. I just glued that on really quick. Actually, I punched a hole too. And 
glue that on. Pop the brad in. Oops, glue's not set yet. This way the brad won't show the back of the brad. And then I have this twine, and this is how you attach it. Now here's how it opens up. So I'm going to put it just a little bit left of center, just tape it on there with regular tape, and make a loop and bring this up. This one's in the center. Tape that down. And then we're going to add this. this. I think I'm going to use glue on this because the brad makes it a little bit high for the snail to attach. It works. I've done it both ways. I've actually put glue on the brad side and snail on the rest of it. You can play around with it, whatever you think works best for you. Push that down. We're almost done. And then we just wrap this around the brad. I like to push it up here. Oops, give it a little cut and it's done. How do you like that? I think it's really cute. It's really substantial for, for a um, gift card. Hope you like this. If you do, give me a shout and also visit my website, www.stampandshout.com. Thank you.